Welcome to the White House. Uh, now, I have to tell you that these guys uh, were out here practicing a little earlier. So uh, before we get started, I just need to make sure that we're all set, that they were paying attention. Uh, so let me just say, Omaha! <laughs> Omaha! 44 is Mike. Bags, Montana. I don't know, it doesn't seem to work as well for me. Let's give it up for the Super Bowl champion, Denver Broncos. Yeah. We have some big Broncos fans in the house, including Mayor Hancock from the great city of Denver, outstanding members of Congress, the, the, the delegation. Uh, I want to recognize Broncos CEO Joe Ellis, a couple of your former quarterbacks, uh, GM John Elway, <laughs> Coach Gary Kubiak, <laughs> and let's give a big round of applause to Mrs. Annabelle Bolin. Um, <laughs> as many of you know, uh, Annabelle is here on behalf of the Bolin family and uh, her husband, Pat the longtime Broncos owner who's inspiring all of us with his courageous fight against Alzheimer's. Uh, and it's only fitting that when they, went, uh, they won the Super Bowl in February, John declared from the podium, this one is for Pat. Uh, and I was just, we were backstage talking. Uh, the, the record that Pat was able to put together, going to more Super Bowls uh, than losing seasons, that's pretty remarkable. You're not going to see that duplicated in many places. That's a testimony to what an uh, extraordinary owner uh, he has been and continues to be. Uh, Pat and Annabelle have led this organization for 32 successful years. That rivals just about any other franchise in football. Uh, in that time, the Broncos uh, have, as I said earlier, uh, gone time and time again to the Super Bowl. Uh, and last year was a high watermark with a third Super Bowl trophy uh, and a dominating win over Carolina. Uh, that doesn't mean it was always pretty, or ever pretty. <laughs> Coaches acknowledge this is a gritty, hard-nosed group of grinders. Last season, the Broncos won an NFL record 11 games by a touchdown or less. And you don't do that without one of the greatest defenses of all time. Yeah. Now, I'm a Bears fan. 1985 was pretty good. Elway remembers. But I got to admit, this one was pretty good too. Uh, it all starts with Super Bowl MVP Von Miller, who terrorized opponents from the edge all season long. Uh, in the Super Bowl and the AFC Championship game, he had five sacks, two forced fumbles, an interception, not bad for a guy who prides himself uh, on his collection of eyeglasses <laughs> and claims to have been a geek all his life. Um, we also saw him on Dancing with the Stars. I think he's wearing his dance shoes today. Where were they? They were shiny and uh, impressive. Vaughn was not alone. Uh, there was his partner on the opposite side, Demarcus Ware. You had uh, an extraordinary defensive line, a lockdown secondary. Uh, all in all, coordinator Wade Phillips' defense led the league in 19 statistical categories, <laughs> including total defense, passing defense, and sacks. Uh, and down the stretch, they smothered three of the four top offenses in football. Uh, and then there was an offense that always seemed to come up big when it needed to. Uh, there's running backs, uh, C.J. Anderson and Ronnie Hillman. Receivers, Emmanuel Sanders and, and Demarius Thomas. And we can't forget to mention the heart and soul of this team's offensive firepower, kicker Brandon McNannis. <laughs>
<laughs> and, and, and then there's this guy from, from the commercials. Doesn't matter whether you need insurance, pizza, a Buick. I'm, you basically can stock your whole household with stuff this guy is selling. You know where to turn. It's Peyton Manning. We're taking it off. We're going to sign it. There he is. Uh, I, I have to say, uh, I'm so pleased to be able to uh, host Peyton uh, here at the White House before I left. Uh, you know, anybody who's been a football fan has watched uh, uh, what is one of the greatest Hall of Fame careers ever, uh, racking up more wins, more MVPs, more passing yards, more touchdown passes than anybody in history. The only quarterback to lead two different teams to Super Bowl wins. Uh, you know, we were all obviously a little disappointed uh, to see him hanging up this spring. Uh, but as, as somebody who's uh, just a little bit older than, the, than he is, I, I was sympathetic to the idea <laughs> that uh, running around with these guys, you know, it, it takes its toll. Uh, but uh, you know, it, is, it is great to see uh, somebody with a career like that uh, who always conducted himself on the field and off the field uh, the way he did uh, to be able to go out on top. So yeah. please give a big round of applause uh, for Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Peyton and I were talking back, and, and, and he said, yeah, you should try it. You know, uh, don't overstay your welcome. <laughs> But, but I, got a, I got term limits, so I had no choice. I can't. Um, of course, this team is far more than a collection of players. Uh, the Broncos are a way of life, uh, not just in Colorado, but throughout the Mountain West. They call it Broncos country. Sold out just about every game in Denver since 1970. Uh, I've heard how loud that stadium can get. Back in 2008, uh, I gave my convention sp speech at, at Mile High. Thank you for letting me, uh, letting me borrow it just for a little bit. Uh, I have a feeling it's a little louder uh, after Von Sachs, Tom Brady, uh, but it was pretty loud on that day. Uh, and for all the love the fans uh, give to this team, the Broncos gave it right back. In just the last year, players have served the community more than 360 times, from holding fitness clinics to mentoring young people to honoring our troops. All told, the Broncos have distributed more than $25 million to local charities wow. since 1993. And earlier today, uh, Peyton and the guys spent some time with uh, our wounded warriors, and, and nothing uh, uh, is, there's nothing I appreciate more uh, than when uh, uh, outstanding athletes like this take the time. Uh, to, to meet with our wounded warriors and, and are reminded uh, of the fact that uh, as much fun as this is, as, as great as football is as part of our lives, uh, it only happens because of the extraordinary sacrifice of our men and women in uniform. So we're very grateful for them. For that. So on and off the field, these guys are champs. Uh, apparently, John Elway knows what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> Coach knows what he's doing, the ownership knows what they're doing, and the players know what they're doing. And uh, I assume that they're uh, looking for another run. Um, I will continue to root for the Bears, but, uh, uh, but uh, I got to give this organization credit for having done uh, an extraordinary job. And this is a well-deserved celebration of an extraordinary season. So please give one more time Super Bowl champion Denver Broncos. Big round of applause. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as you said before, unfortunately, the great leader of, of this organization, this team, is not here today. But on behalf of Mr. Bolin, uh, our entire organization, thank you so much for you and your staff allowing us to be here today and share this special moment. Um, I am so proud of our fans, our organization, our coaches, but most importantly, these players. They gave it up for each other. 
and they went and achieved something special. They brought home a third world championship to the city of Denver. And uh, I'm so proud to be a part of that, but this makes it even more so special. So thank you. And without further ado, Annabelle's gonna come up and the captains and present some more. All right, what we got, Annabelle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. This is for you. That is a good looking jersey right there. <laughs> Number 44. <laughs> I, th I think Mr. Sanders said uh, I, I might still be able to, to be a wide receiver. I, 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 I said uh, it's been a it's been a while since I ran a four four forty, <laughs> but uh, that is wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And your Payton, too. Yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, I need a helmet. <laughs> you get knocked around here in Washington quite a bit. <laughs> so thank you. Well, these are beautiful. Why don't we strike this podium and uh, we can get a good picture. Come on, everybody.